What's good, YouTube, man? We back with another TK24 video, man. And today, about a thumbnail and a title, man. I know what y'all here for, man. Y'all trying to really figure out what's been going on with the shooting in 2K24. Hey, listen, the video that y'all is watching right now, this little clip, y'all, this is a 6'9", long wingspan, 77'3". This is 77.3, man. 77.3 on the 6.9. I'm using the A-plus jump shot with release, y'all. And I'm going to tell y'all how the shooting really go. So... Basically, man, right? I done set in the Gatorade gym on multiple bills. I done set in the Gatorade on multiple bills for at least four hours. For like the last week, I have been playing 2K. I have been making multiple bills. I have tried multiple jump shots. I tried to over 100 jump shots with different bases, different releases. And I'm going to tell y'all, and I'm going to give y'all the tea of what's been going on with the jump shots. Bell, basically the visual cue, the visual cue, y'all, is the main source of your jump shot. You have to make sure your visual visual cue is compatible with your jump shot. Make sure that your visual cue is compatible with your jump shot. Basically, what this means, y'all, if you using a super duper fast jump shot where he released the ball too fast, use release because it'll be easier to get hit the green if you if your push if your if your jump shot is like super fast and he released the ball super quick. So use release. If you use a slower jump shot. Where it's easier to see the set point, use set point. Whichever jump shot is easier to see the animation. Like if it's, if using a slow jump shot, it's easy to see when he jumping, you jump. So basically what I have done, y'all, I've set in the Gatorade gym. I have tried multiple jump shot, different grades, different release heights, different immunities. So basically what I'm going to tell y'all, the release height, the release height of your jump shot, right, that like, that's like the contest window. You, you get less contest if your ball if the ball goes super high in the air. You feel what I'm saying? The release height. It goes the higher your release height, the better you can shoot over people with your release height. You feel what I'm saying? We already know what defense immunity is. We know what the release speed is. We know what time and stability mean. But as y'all can see, I just tried two jump shots, one with an A plus and one with a as y'all can see a D plus, right? With the same base. They both have been sharp at y'all. They both have been sharp at, right? I tried both of them. And I'm not gonna test it again in this video because I already been tested it. I've been sitting in the in the in the in the gym, in the Gatorade gym, trying out multiple jump shots. And I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know what's been going on with the jump shots, me using these so far. I used the one with the D plus, y'all, with fast visual cues. I used um the slow one with jump. I used the slow one with jump, y'all, and I was greening. I'm not gonna say I was greening consistently, but I was greening shots with a slower jump shot with a faster visual cue. So if you use a slower jump shot with a faster visual cue, and you will be able to time it. A lot of people think that, oh, it's my jump shot. My jump shot is broke. My jump shot is broke. It's not really your jump shot, bro. It's the visual cue. You have to make sure your visual cue is compatible with your jump shots. That's why a lot of streamers, if y'all hip, then you know. And I'm from Detroit, y'all hip mean basically like, if you know, you know. So if you know, you know. Uh, a lot of streamers been using release with A plus jump shots. The reason why they've been doing that because it's easier to know your release when you're releasing the ball with a super duper quick jump shot. So use a jump shot that's breaking the scale, it's quick, and it's an A plus maxed out bar with release, bro. You're going to be greening. The video that I showed y'all at the beginning was a A plus jump shot, fully maxed out A plus with release, y'all. Like fully maxed A plus with release. This jump shot I'm using right now is an A plus with set point. That's usually what I use, but I feel like make sure that your jump shot is compatible with your, you know, with your release, man. Make sure your jump shot is compatible because if it's compatible, you're going to be able to green shots consistently, like back to back to back because it's back like 19. And I want to tell y'all something too, like y'all probably watching this video. I want to say thank y'all also, man, for the people. Y'all been showing so much love. For everybody who's been showing love and supporting, man. All my videos have been getting over 100 views. Uh, so y'all been going crazy. I appreciate y'all. Uh, and I also want y'all to know, man, y'all not watching somebody, man, who who just play 2K and they just make content. Y'all Like, I really, really play 2K. Every good 2K, I have put over 1,500 hours on by the time the game was over. And I never went back to play it. And I'm going to show y'all the evidence so to let y'all know. It's probably a lot of new people who play 2K who trying to figure out what's going on. I just want you to know you watching 
basically a veteran, bro. When it comes to 2K, bro, I probably got over the stats that LeBron has in the real NBA, y'all. Like, I done, I probably got over <laughs> so many threes, bro, over so many dunks, rebounds, steals. You get every 2K, I make multiple bills. Every 2K, y'all. So, basically, man, I feel like if you go make sure, sit in the Gatorade gym, man, make 20 jump shots. Make 20 good jump shots that you think is good. Try every jump shot with a different visual cue. It sounds like a lot of work, man, but I'm telling you, it's going to it's gonna work. I'm telling you, try a lot of jump shots with a lot of different visual cues, man. And whatever jump shot feels like you could green a shot with it, man, use that one, man. Use that one jump shot. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, only thing I hate about the visual cues changing them is they go to all your players. So make sure when you get on another player that use a different visual cue with a different jump shot, you you try that so i'm gonna give y'all some more you know things that y'all probably didn't know about the um about the game man that i have figured out uh your drilling bars uh changes your jump shots and your stamina so if you have less stamina your jump shot is going to be quicker it's going to no, it's going to be slower i'm sorry it's going to be slower it's not going to be quicker it's going to be slower so they, I thought they said that they take, they took that out the game where you get multiple different timings depending on you know different spots you're going and stuff like that. But your stamina really depends on your jump shot. If you got less stamina, your jump shot is slower. But some, that's why sometimes you green certain shots and you be confused because you can be using set point with a super fast jump shot. When I just said use release, you could be using a super fast jump shot and you dribble you out of stamina and you green a shot. You think like dang, like I greened that, I ain't had no stamina. It was because you feel what I'm saying? It was because some of you, sometimes when you got less stamina, you can see, green a shot. You feel what I'm saying? And y'all, this is, I, I left the first game, right? I left that I, that first at the beginning of the clip, I had release. I went and put back on set point after this. I went to put back on set point because that's usually what I use. So your drilling bar, when you got one drilling bar, as y'all can see, I got one drilling bar, less stamina. It makes your jump shot slower. Sometimes you need a slower release, y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all, sometimes you need a slower release, bro. I have an A plus with set point on right now. A plus with set point. Y'all see, I'm greening. So you have to get used to the timing and make sure that your jump shot is compatible with your, you know, with your visual cue, bro. But I got some more bangers coming soon, man. If y'all new out to the channel, man, make sure y'all leave a like, man, and subscribe on this video. If you new, man, I'm dropping a lot of bangers. I appreciate y'all for getting us to 1.8K. I'm saying this all the way at the end of the video. So if you stay to the end of the video, I really appreciate you, y'all. Um, but as y'all can see from this gameplay, man, this is a six. This is my, my main build. This is my six nine long wingspan. I'm gonna drop my new build for y'all real soon. Um, if y'all want this build, y'all already know what y'all gotta do, man. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, man. Both of them, both of them at the same time, and comment down below. Drop this build, trans. You want this build? Comment down. Drop this build, man. I, I really like my six, my uh six nine, but I got a new six nine. So I hope he, you feel what I'm saying? I hope he go crazy it's like this six nine, dude, man. But this six nine have a seventy seven three, and the one that y'all just see me with in the Gatorade have an eighty one three. So if I'm gonna be doing all this on my other build, man, just imagine how crazy my other build gonna be. Uh, this is a crazy game right here, man. So I appreciate everybody for coming out. And support it, man. That's really the truth about the the jump shots, man. You gotta make sure that your visual cue is is compatible. Make sure it's compatible with your jump shot, bro. Make sure your visual cue is compatible. And look, he quit in the game. Contact dunk, y'all. This build is OP, y'all. My six nine is OP. Um, but that's gonna be about the end of the video. I'm gonna catch y'all boys in the next 2K video. He disrespected me, so I'm gonna end the video off like this.